Hi, I'm Dave Kaminsky of Web Video University, and what I'm going to show you how to do today is add some user interactivity into your YouTube videos by using something called annotation. So what I've done here, I've logged into my YouTube account. I'll go down and pick our first video here in the bottom, and I want to add some interactivity to this video, so I'm going to go over here and click on annotations. And that will bring up the annotation screen, and the way annotations work is I can go over here and select a speech bubble or a note or a spotlight and those will appear over here and I can type text in them and I can even link to other YouTube videos so let me show you how it works what you want to do is play through your video when you get to the point where you want to add an annotation just pause go over click the annotation that you want to add in this case a speech bubble type in your text hey what's up and then what you can do is you can resize this guy, move him all around. I'll put that about right there. And by default, uh, the annotation is going to last five seconds. And you can change those times right here. You can change the start time, which happens where you hit the pause button, and the end time. And you can put it to whatever, you, whatever you'd like. Right here is where you can put in a URL to another YouTube video or channel. Unfortunately, you cannot put in your URL to your own website or an affiliate website. This has to be a URL to another YouTube video. But when it's all done, it's going to look like this. So if I rewind this a bit and play it, take a look. And that will pop up there. And again, if I had a URL, I could just click on it right here and it would take me to that page. Now what we can do is I'll scrub through a little bit more. This annotation ends. Let's say right here, I want to add a note. So I can put my note right here. This is my note. And we can reduce the size. I'll move this guy right here. And again, by, uh, by default, it's going to last five seconds long. Okay, and I don't know if you noticed what happened there, but YouTube locked up. And when you're working the annotation, see there it goes again. Uh, things like this will pop up <laughs> quite a bit. I'm not sure what the problem is. But when it does happen, you're just going to have to refresh the page and keep continue with your work. It will save what you've been doing. Okay, so now we're back in business, at least for the moment. I've got my notes set up here, and again, as I was saying, you can uh, adjust the times here. If you click on it, you can go in and add your YouTube URL. Now, let me scrub through just a little bit more. Let's say about right here, I want to pause the video. And what I want to do is add my spotlight, and this is maybe the coolest feature, because you can really uh, edit your videos and add this feature to add some pretty nice interactivity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this around my head, and then when someone clicks on my head, well, I can take them to another YouTube channel. And what I'll do is type in some text down here, and I will type in, click on my face to watch another video. Really, do it now. Okay, and we can see what that's going to look like. Now, what I want you to do is right now, I want you to actually click on my face. And when you do that, you will be brought to another video of me in YouTube. Go ahead, try it right now. All right, now, once you're done with your annotations, uh, they are not going to automatically appear on your, on your videos. What you have to do is you have to click the Publish button. It's not until you click the publish button will the, all of these annotations appear. And then anytime anyone on YouTube watches your videos and they have annotations turned on, which is turned on by default in YouTube, they'll be able to click on different parts of your video. And again, what you can do when you edit your videos, you can uh, edit them with this annotations in mind. So you can put little objects on your screen and then draw the box around here and have people click and take you to another video. Now below this video in my blog post, I've got a link to another video that shows you an excellent way that these annotations are being used in video marketing right now.